Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, you know who I am. And today I'm bringing you another card review of Photon Strike Bouncer. I have the picture here so you know what it looks like. Um, this card is from the new set, Galactic Overlord, and it's a secret rare. And right now it's going for about $40, which in my opinion is really high for this card. Do you want to know why I think it's high? Because I think this card is a bad card. First, you gotta know its effect, right? I'll put the effect here. Um, so basically, you detach one, negate an effect, and do 1,000 damage to your opponent. So when you when you read this card, you think, "Oh, this card is really good." Um, yeah, negate effects. But then you read closely. His effect can only be used on the field. So cards that activate in the graveyard or in the hand he can negate them and you know from playing Yu-Gi-Oh a lot you guys know that there's a lot of effects that activate from the graveyard in the hand second reason why I think this card is really bad is because sure it negates the effect but it doesn't destroy see like Dalka he negates the effect and destroys it but this card negates the effect and stays on the field because he can only gain effects on the field, so it's going to stay on the field. So, um, and it's a rank 6. So, like, the only decks that can really make this is higher decks right now. And, um, Evil Tiles, uh, with the Darwino build. If you go check out Michael Smith Grant video, I'm sure you know it. If you watch mine, I'm sure you know his videos where he runs Darwinos. So you can make that. So, first of all, um... I was testing on DN with higher ticks, I want to make that deck, and the guy was playing windups, and he goes into Zen Mighty, I'm like, okay, negate the effect, and I'm like, what are you doing, man, it's destroyed, he's like, no it's not, I'm like, what, I have to read it over again, and then I find out that it doesn't destroy, and then I'm like, oh my god, this card is bad, holy stuff, holy shit, holy shit, okay, so I'll give you some examples why, this card's really bad, like, against, um, let's say, Insectors. Sure, they can negate Dragonfly's effect, um, but it will st stay on the field, right? So then they can just, let's say, Gigamantis. Since they have the Dragonfly that was negated, you will Gigamantis, reveal it in your hand, they can't negate it, it goes on the field. 24, attack, Dragonfly. They can't do anything about that, because... I don't know if they have back rows, higher ticks, they don't run any back rows. So they'll have a 24 attack dragonfly. And then they can equip the Zecta sword or whatever, Zecta thing. The thing that increases it by 800. And then become 32,000. Like. And Strike Bouncer is only 27. So boom. Attack. I don't know. I don't really like this card. Another example. Gores. Why Dalka is so good, because it negates and destroys Gores, and all, all the other things, but the one problem that Rabbits have is Gores, so that's why they make Dalka. And um, for Strike Bouncer, it can negate the effect of Gores, but Gores will still stay on the field. Like, okay. And then next turn, Gores crash, summon Rabbit, make Lagia game. So, um, I don't really like this card. I'll give you more examples. Grapha. Activate gates. Use the gates effect. Remove something from your graveyard. Pitch Grapha. Draw a card. Grapha's effect happens in the graveyard. Pop Strike Bouncer. Can't do anything about that. Um, another example. Higher Ticks. Um, so they special summon Tefnut from their hand. And then they tribute to special summon Sue. And then... Tefnut's effect activates in the grave. You can negate that. Um, you bring out Watt, Watt Tail Dragon. And then overlay into uh, Force Focus. That new card. 28 attack. Boom. Attack over that thing. 100 damage. Like, I don't, I don't really like Strike Bouncer anymore. Another example. Chaos Dragons. They're a huge deck right now. They just won YCS Philly. And like, you can't negate Light Pulsar. You use, um, 
Red Eyes of Darkness Metal, remove something, special summon enemies at 28, you can't negate that. Boom, attack. And then next, uh, main phase 2, activate effect, bring back a light pulsar. I don't know, this card, not really good. I mean, it's kind of good for Rabbit, but they have plays, they have plays. They can go tour guide, negate effect, maybe like a reborn or something, into like a Sangan overlay, Asagon. Like they have plays, they can go Sabersaurus. They can lance your thing and crash. They have lots of plays. And again, like it has no protection. You can bottomless this thing. You can torrential this thing. Uh, anything like that can just get over this card. So that's why I think it's a really bad. It's it's okay still. It's, it shouldn't be that much. It shouldn't be $40 right now. Because I don't think people realize how bad this card is. But it's okay. I'm not saying it's terrible, like garbage, but it's okay. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. So, comment down below what you think. Give me some uh, comments, you know. You can argue with me, that's fine. You can disagree with me. Give me your reasons for agreeing or disagreeing. I would love to read those. I would love to reply. And, um, you know, like, comment, uh, subscribe, favorite if you liked it. And, peace.